Welcome to this week's Tech A videos, video newsletter on Friday the 4th of July 2008. Tech A is where we look at the key indices, the CAC, DAX, Dow Jones, FTSE 100, NASDAQ and the Nikkei. We analyse what's been going on before, looking at previous history and using uh, an, an analysis and uh, the tools that, are, that and techniques that, that allows us and that lends to us, um, we look to project what may happen in the following week with each index. Well, so we'll start off with um, the CAC. I'll just remove some of these um, lines actually because they're starting to clutter things up a little. So. what I want to do is put a support line just where I think the market hit. And what I'm doing is just looking at points of support. Yep, we can see it's hit there, there, there and there. So the current point that it's at now, um, which is around about 4.250, um, there is support there. So if we do get this break, there's a there's a huge, um, very tight channel there, basically. Um, it's not looking good. <laughs> you know, the, the CAC 40 has, has lost an awful lot just this last week. Um, pressure, of course, by the increasing cost in oil. Um, this is going to affect a lot of the indices. Um, for obvious reasons, companies um, rely, and everyone relies heavily on oil, um, both as a raw material in, material in producing a lot of products, but also as a, as a means of, you know, transport and so on. So it it, it is the fuel that drives the world at the moment, and um, when it goes up, conversely, we're seeing huge reactions within. Uh, the indices. So we're seeing with the CAC there's a possibility of a break. We may just get a bit of consolidation next week but really look out for that break because if it does happen we're likely to see very strong falls indeed. Um, moving now on to the DAX. Similar story we do have a support um, at 6200. Once again if we get a break in that 6200 we're likely to see further falls um, that could be as dramatic as the ones we've had recently. Um, there is no reason to to think that there's going to be any real recovery at the current point. Uh, but this coming week is going to be a real telling position for for many of the indices that we're looking at. Um, they're reaching very strong supports, and if they break, then there's going to be all hell let loose. Um, moving to the Dow, um, just let me put in some proper better supports. Some of these have been added. So all I'm doing is double clicking on where it traded. So it's dropping like a stone hitting the point of consolidation possibly within this area that's causing the support but really there's no massive support at the current point um, there are points though further down at around about 11 10 750 uh, which is where it could fall further um, maybe even that down to uh, you know, there's no reason why it couldn't fall further still. Uh, no no trading for the Dow today, uh, national holiday in America, for obvious reasons, Independence Day, 4th of July. Um, so it'll be interesting. Next week is going to be such an interesting week um, with, with the Dow and many of the other indices. Um, so it, it's a real telling point. Lots of them reaching very strong supports. And um, if they break, then, you know, we're going to see some huge drops. Moving now on to the FTSE, similar story with the FTSE as we've seen with the CAC and DAX and the Dow, very strong support, 5400. If we get a break in that then we're likely to see um, 
you know some very strong falls indeed things are really looking very gloomy indeed um you know despite the fact that they're saying we're not in a recession we're just heading like a, a runaway train towards one um it doesn't really mean a great deal to us in terms of trading it just gives us more opportunities to go short than we would go long um and it means that we can make um, money going short quicker than we could if it was bullish simply because stock falls very quickly and much faster than it does um, go up. So the FTSE once again similar story to the CAC, DAX and Dow uh, looking for a break in support. Um, the NASDAQ similar story once again at 1800 we're going to see a possible break if it does it we can see it move down towards 1700 or maybe even as low as 17 or 16800 so there's there's opportunities there once again look for the Dow uh, leading the way with many of these indices finally the the NIC2 reaching a point of res uh, support at 13,000 13, if it breaks then you know we're going to see further falls down to 12,500 um, there, there certainly is you know some some strong moves with the NIC as well but the main leader for want of a better description um, the one that's going to push the markets more than any other is the Dow. We have it trading within a channel, it's reaching a support. Could just bounce intermittently, but I don't think it's going to be that strong. Um, we're going to see probably a period of consolidation, but there is certainly if oil goes up, so look for oil going up if there's a break. Uh, with the Dow on the downside at support, then we're going to see the same happen with the CAC, DAX, FTSE, NASDAQ, and even the Nikkei. So that's this week's Tech A video newsletter on the 4th of July, Independence Day in the States, uh, 2008, and we'll be back next Friday.